Hello everybody, this is Paul Humilar at Dream Guitars bringing you another tech chat. We do a number of these videos where we just talk about particular topics about guitar design or um, guitar care. Um, this one today is about wedge bodies. We're cleverly calling it the skinny on wedge bodies. Um, so what is a wedge body and why do you care? Um, that's really the, what this video is all about. So it's real simple. A typical guitar body is um, the same depth all the way across, all right? So say it's four and a half inches at the tail block. That's a measurement that you'll see on our website. It would be four and a half inches here, here, and here. Same all over. But the wedge body, and, and these days it's being called the, the Manger Wedge. Uh, my good buddy Linda Manger uh, made it popular um, some years ago now. Um, in response to players needing an ergonomic difference, which would be where the guitar is slightly thinner up here, where it goes under your arm. Um, so obviously the benefit there is instead of the guitar being so big, like imagine you're holding a dreadnought on your right knee with your right arm over the top, it puts your shoulder way out there and makes the whole guitar feel big. If you can lessen this depth here, the arm comes down, everything's closer to the body, and it's a little bit more comfortable and gets rid of that bluegrass player shoulder problems, which so many people I know have once they get to be in their 50s and 60s. 30, 40 years of doing this can wear and tear on the shoulder. So it is an important ergonomic thing. Um, so let's get into it. Let me show you first a picture's worth a thousand words. So this is a wedge body. So you can very clearly see on this costal guitar that it's fatter here and thinner here. That's really it. It's, it's kind of a simple design element. Of course, it's a lot of um, different things for the maker to do to build it, but that's really the whole idea. The other thing that happens, I find, um, this is a, a, a Jason Costal modified dreadnought guitar, so it's about one of the bigger guitars you'll find that we sell. And by doing this, it does make it feel much more like an OM here on this part of my body. It doesn't feel like I'm holding a big dreadnought. Um, and of course, you still have the option to play on the left leg with a strap, whatever you want to do to make it even more comfortable. I'm a big fan of straps, as you know. Um, but that's the whole idea. And then I've got a few other examples here to show you. This is a Kevin Costell, I'm sorry, Jason Costell, like I said. Here we have a Mark Blanchard guitar, different shape body, but same idea. And then we have a Bill Tipping guitar. Um, all of them have a wedge body. The other thing I think you get a benefit of um, from the wedge body is a bit of control of the bass response. So sometimes on bigger guitars, the bass response can be overpowering for the trebles. Now on bluegrass guitars, that's sort of what they're designed to do, boom chang, right? So boom chang, boom chang. Um, you want that big, big bass sound. But if you're playing fingerstyle guitar and you're, if you're recording guitar a lot, that can be problematic because too much boom takes away the chang. Um, so anyway, I find that guitars that have this design, you might lose just a touch of bass response, but I actually think of it, instead of losing, it's really controlling it. It's, it's tapering the bass just a touch so that the big fat treble strings that fingerstyle makers are trying to achieve can shine. Um, so I like that. I, I think the guitar can actually be more balanced. So you get everything, you get a big body, easier to hold, and a bit more balanced for recording and just playing your music. So that's just a quick um, overview of what a wedge body is about. Lots of builders are doing it. Um, we also do a lot of custom building here, and, and most of our builders will add that as an option as well. So if you build a guitar with us, just let us know if you want to do a wedge body. Thanks, you all, and hello, and thanks to Linda Manger for the wedge idea.